Alterwire is a European Commission project which lasted for three years and helped to develop uh, uh, the Alterwire. Alterwire is about a new generation of conductors made from a composite of copper and nanocarbons. Nanocarbons are materials like carbon nanotubes and graphene. The aim of that was to improve the properties of traditional copper wires in order to make it lighter, more conductive and essentially better electrical, thermal and mechanical properties. Nanotubes have got significantly better benefits, so we are trying to bring these highly efficient, highly conducting materials and mix it with copper so that overall we can create a composite which has a benefit of both of the copper as a matrix and the nanotube material as the conductor for electrons or heat. The applications of a better conductor than existing copper are really vast. In aerospace and deep space applications, we are looking mostly at reducing the weight of the conductor on board. In an aircraft or a car, can reduce the weight and therefore we could have lower CO2 emissions. Another area that we explored was power cables. How could we improve existing power lines, how to make them much more robust and resilient to high winds for underground cable? Ultrawire is a material that can cope with intensive use of energy that is going through it, especially when underground situations require lots of heat dissipation. The project was led by University of Cambridge being the coordinator of the project. We have got uh, in total 14 partners, three from academia and 11 from industry, and five very large industrial partners that support our advisory board. Ultrawire is the largest project in the world which develops the new generation of conductors based on copper. Overall, we had 5 million euros that was invested in this project. So what we are aiming now is for partners to develop it further, to actually bring it to the market, to bring it to their customers. We are now taking the development that was done to a real industrial deployment. And anyone who would like to explore the potential testing and use of these conductors should contact us at the email addresses that are specified on the website.